For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Would you like to learn how to talk about gifts in English? Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen and today you're going to learn important vocabulary for gifts. First, let's talk about some gift giving prepositions. You're going to go to the store and buy a gift for someone. You are in the store getting the gift for the person that you are thinking about. When you have the gift ready, you give the gift to somebody. The person who is receiving the gift, they receive the gift from you. So give a gift to someone, get a gift, receive a gift from someone. If there is some kind of big event like Christmas, maybe you are giving a gift to someone and getting a gift from someone. In this case, we can say exchange gifts with or exchange presents with. On Christmas, I will exchange presents with my friends and family. Next, let's take a look at six useful phrasal verbs connected to gifts. First is pick out. To pick out a gift means to select a gift, to choose a gift that you think the person you're giving it to will enjoy. I'm going to go to the mall and pick out a good gift for my friend. Another good phrasal verb for gifts is pick up. To pick up something means to go to a place, get something, and bring it back with you. So I went to the mall to pick up this gift for my friend. Another great phrasal verb for gifts is give out gifts. If you have many gifts that you are giving to people, you can give out gifts. At Christmas time, Santa Claus will give out gifts to children. He distributes many, many presents. If you want to buy a more expensive present for someone, you need to save up money. Save up is a great phrasal verb that means over time, you're working hard to save the money. Up is emphasizing, making the verb save stronger. So if I want to buy my husband a really nice present, I'm not just going to save money, I'm going to save up my money over a period of time to get that perfect gift for him. Another gift giving phrasal verb connected to money is chip in. If you chip in, it means that you contribute something small with many people in order to do something big. So if you're working in an office, maybe it's somebody's birthday or retirement party in your company, maybe everybody will chip in a little bit of money to buy that person a present together from the company. When you give a gift to someone, you don't usually just hand them the present, you usually wrap up the present. To wrap a present means to cover it in some kind of beautiful wrapping and then give it to someone. We can add the word up to the verb wrap and in this case the up preposition is just making the verb wrap stronger. I wrapped this present or I wrapped up this present. Speaking of wrapping, let's take a look at some of the vocabulary that's used in wrapping gifts. This gift is wrapped using three different things. The first thing is wrapping paper or sometimes people call it gift paper. It's special paper that you can buy in order to wrap a present. This gift also has a bow in the center. These are examples of bows that you can put on the present when you wrap it. I also wrapped up this present using a little bit of ribbon. Ribbon is like this or like this and it is great for wrapping presents. This present is not wrapped using wrapping paper. Instead, it is wrapped using a gift bag, like this, a bag special for giving gifts. And when we use this kind of gift bag, 
we also usually use tissue paper. This is tissue paper and it's also often used for wrapping presents. Now, let's talk about what you can say when you want to give a present to someone. You could just say, here, this is for you, and give the person the present, that's perfectly fine. Or, hey, I got a gift for you, that's okay too. Both of those expressions are very casual. A good formula for giving people gifts is usually to state the occasion for giving the gift. And I hope you like it or I hope you'll enjoy it. For example, happy birthday, I hope you like it. Or Merry Christmas, I hope you'll enjoy it. A very common expression when we give somebody a gift is it's only something small, but I hope you'll like it. Or, oh, it's only a little present, but I hope you'll enjoy it. If you are giving somebody a gift to say thank you, you can say, oh, I got you a little something to say thank you. In a more formal situation, you could say, ah, here's a small token of my appreciation. If you are the person receiving the gift, of course, you should say thank you for the gift. Before opening the gift, you can say something like, Oh, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Or, Oh, for me, you shouldn't have. Or, Thank you for this present. It's so thoughtful of you. Something to imply like you are very thankful for the gift, but you weren't expecting the person to give you a present. Once you've opened the present, you should express the fact that you are happy about whatever you have received. So depending what it is, you can just say, thank you, I love it, or thanks so much, I've always wanted this, whatever it is. If it is some kind of clothing, you can say something like, thank you so much, I'll put it on right away. If it is a painting, for example, wow, it's so beautiful, I'll hang it up right away. If it's something else, like a pen or some perfume, wow, this is wonderful, I'll use it right away. So showing the person that you like it because you have plans to, to use it, to wear it, to hang it, to do something with the item that they have just given to you. In today's lesson, we've learned some general vocabulary for gift giving, important prepositions, phrasal verbs, and other useful vocabulary and expressions. If you would like to learn English expressions specifically for Christmas gifts, I've made an entire video about Christmas gift vocabulary, which you can check out over here. And now it's time for question of the day. For today's question of the day in the comments below, please tell me what is the best gift that you have ever received? Who did you receive it from and what was the occasion? Let me know about your best gift in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to give me a gift, please subscribe to Jen Studio and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies. See you in the next lesson.